get up now you get up hey, Why you just stay drunk there? I They do younger Why you just stay back up back up One never back here there Even if you don't fit to arrange you Make you just a show appreciation any man who can do such a thing to a man observe the way you want to get, it's not work right. Why does love hurt this much? Why is it wicked? My son, love does not hurt. Neither is love wicked. Love is a sweet thing everybody will want to have. In this case, it is Juliet who is wicked and it is Juliet who hurt you, not love. Dad, I spoke to you but you wouldn't listen. You wanted to do what you wanted to do for yourself. Hmm? What did we get in return? A broken heart for you and a disgrace and embarrassment for the family. In fact, you made me an object of ridicule. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to to bring this kind of embarrassment upon the family. Anyway, it is well. Everything is okay. I guess you will be fine. As for Juliet and her mother, Dad, don't hurt Juliet and her mother. What do you mean? If you love me, I could leave. As don't hurt Juliet.
Thank God, though. Eh? I was so scared, mommy. I just couldn't stand anything happening to you. Just like I couldn't stand to watch anything happen to my only surviving child. I didn't even know what I could have done. There was no doctor around to save your life. <laughs> nothing would have happened. How do you mean nothing would have happened, Mom? You didn't know the state you were in yesterday. I knew exactly what state I was in. Listen, I did what I did yesterday to save your life. See, the way I saw you, I knew that I had to take drastic measures. So I decided to act up. I pretended I was not feeling well. Oh, and my that God. stopped you from taking the poison. Mom, no way. You're kidding me, eh? Mom, you're and kidding me. And that saved your life. No, Mom. Honestly. Mom, you mean nothing happened to you yesterday? No, nothing happened to me. I was perfectly fine. Mom, you pranked me, yeah? I got you there. <gasps> oh, my God, Mom, that was so scary. You, you, you almost scared the life out of me. Please don't do that next time, huh? It's cheaper. Yeah. Oh, so both of you are just there. So this is where both of you are. Chasting and laughing at what you did to me, to my son and my family. No, Chief. Isn't it? We're, we're not laughing at you. Shut your mouth, Chief. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Sorry, Daddy, I, I hope all is well. Who is your daddy? Oh, you don't know your daddy. I'm not like that, your daddy that is dead. Stupid! Oh my god! Yes! Don't you ever call me daddy again. If you call me daddy, the thing I will do to you, you will never believe it. Jesus, what is that you have done? You don't know what you have done. Hey! Go inside. Bring I, out I, everything inside that house. I don't understand. Watch what you did. Chief! 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 Why are you doing this to us now? You don't have anywhere to stay with. You need to go. Yes. How is that my business? Hey. Was I the one who brought you to Hello. the Bring out those things I can't get out. Chief, I beg of you in the name of Can you just, uh, please just have mercy? Please just shut, shut up. Me, shut up, you. No, shut no, that your cut Can you, please, please, I beg of you, sir. Okay, don't give us some little time. I said shut that your cut hey. What's my business? Can you Call please? Call us, please. Out. Don't come out. Oh, my God. Wait, can you just wait? Can you just Oh, my God. Bring up it now. Chief, Chief, please, I beg of you. Chief, please have mercy. Chief. Hey. I said, bring everything out. Get 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 I'm 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 three. One, two, If I fall, if I fall, one cow, I'm not even going to do I'm not standing there. Johnson, what is the matter? What is chasing after you? Johnson, I'm talking to you. Johnson. 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 What's the matter with you? Why are you driving like someone who is being chased by death? In fact, have lost it. What are you talking about? They are nowhere to be found. Who are these people you are talking about? Juliet and her mother. I went there and I couldn't find them. Juliet. <laughs> 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 
Why are you laughing about us? When a child insists on seeing the death of his adult, he will surely hit his head on the ground. I don't get what you're talking about, Dad. When an elderly person sits down and sees something, the child cannot see it, even if he climbs to the topmost part of the mountain. That the more you talk, the more you get me confused with your endless parables. Justin, I knew it. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. I told you that girl and her mother were nothing but gold diggers. But you wouldn't listen to me. They made away with all the property. Nothing was left. Yes, I knew it. How did you know? I went there to, to ask her about the drama that happened yesterday. I, I wanted to confront her to know the reason why she put up that kind of attitude. And to my greatest surprise, I couldn't find a pin, let alone a human being. Johnson, and that was why you were driving like somebody being chased by death? Dad, I'm as good as dead. Haven't you realized I, I love her so much? Shut that your stupid mouth, Johnson. What do you know about love? What do you know? Tell me. What do you know about love? I don't want to hear that stupid statement from you anymore. If I do, I will show you that I am Chief Benson, a Jimonye, your father. Now get inside and go and do something better. Love. I love her. When you see love, when you see love, you feel to recognize it. I, when you oh see love, when you see love, you feel to recognize it. Why do you have to treat me this way? Why bring such humiliation and disgrace upon me? I loved you with all my heart. I was ready to do anything for you. I thought I had found that virtuous woman, that priceless jewel, the mother of my children. But no, I was wrong. My father was right. He warned me, but I wouldn't listen to his wise counsel. And yet I feel like cursing you for what you did to me. Yes, searching for someone to love you. Someone to love you. to prove you true. Yeah, Sandra! Sandra! Why are you like this now? What's it? Why, why are you like this? She knows that this guy to the apple. This is just life for you. You just have to calm down. Okay, please. Say, Sandra, you have to stop this. You're crying and thinking. You don't have to cry over spilled oil. I, I mean, it's not gonna help anything here. I'm not crying. I'm just, I'm just surprised. You're just surprised. I, I, are you surprised that Johnson of all people could stoop so low as to go for your low life sister who betrayed you? Juliet. Juliet, my sister is not a low life. And she'll never betray me. Okay? Sandra, your sister is not a low life. So, what did she do to you? I'm asking, what did she do to you? She did everything a young girl could do. Yes, my sister did everything she could do for me and Johnson to be together. Julia did everything she even oh. she even wanted us to get married. She wanted everything. She, just, she wanted me to be happy. 
Well, well, anyway, you can't believe anything you want to believe. We just got a gist. So he said to come and tell you. What are friends for? Anyway, let me go and get something to eat. As you can see, maybe Sandra is not in her right mood. I'm coming with Johnson, I've noticed you're not eating for the past one week. No, I didn't know you were around. It's 15 minutes past 11 and you still haven't taken breakfast. What is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm not hungry yet. I'll eat when I'm hungry. Johnson, I don't know what the problem is because you have refused to tell anyone. But whatever the problem is, this attitude of not eating will not work. And he has to stop this minute. And that reminds me. You've not been going to work for the past one week. I took some days off. I needed to rest. I resume work soon. Just like the air will breathe. Why are you staring at um, Chile's picture and what is it? What is wrong? Cynthia, I have a strong feeling that my sister and her mother are going through hell. How do you mean? I don't know how to explain it. You know, you know that they're passing through a whole lot of pain and I just, I just wish I could just see my sister. I just want to see them. Sandra, are you out of your mind? You just wish you can see your sister. When well, you know they were ostracized and banished from your... I don't care, Cynthia, I don't care. I don't care. Just don't care. Sandra, don't care. Even when you know you'll be struck by thunder if you have anything to do with them or let alone near them. See, I don't know how to explain this, but I believe I have a strong feeling that they are innocent. My sister and her mom are innocent. Don't you understand? I miss her. I just <laughs> Sandra, Sandra, don't tempt your God. I've just said my own. Oh, don't start what you can't finish. <laughs> yes, I'll find you. I will go any place. I will do anything for you, okay? Just big sister will save you. I will try, okay? Father, I don't, I don't seem to understand you at all. I don't understand you, Dad. How can you understand me? You can't understand me because you have refused to listen to words of wisdom. You can't understand. Dad, that these people are your blood. Your eldest brother's wife and child. I know. In fact, I strongly believe they are innocent. God. I can't start a fight with the entire community. I can't afford to lose you because of this. Dad, Dad, you told me you put up a fight to make sure they were not banished. And I did. I put up a fight to make sure they were not banished. But the entire community came crashing on me. They turned on me. Look, my dear, we have done our very best. No, Dad. You've done your part and I'll do mine. I will go out there and look for them. Huh? Yes. Sandra. 
You want to put us in trouble? Let me warn you, don't you ever think of going out there to do anything that will destroy this family? Dad, I promise you, I'll be very careful. And nothing will happen to us. Nothing. I will look for my, for my sister and her mother. I promise you. Cynthia, Cynthia, why did you go tell my dad about my intention to look for my cousin's sister, Hannah mother? Tell me why. I don't stand. God, Cynthia, don't give me that pretentious look, okay? Don't give me that pretense. God, you were the only one aware of my intention. Don't forget. Fine, tell me why my dad called me home to ask me why I had to embark on such a mission. Sandra, I was only being concerned because of the danger you're about to face as my friend. Danger? Yes. Danger? Cynthia, danger. Tell me, what do you know about this? What? I know the gods of your land will strike you with thunder if you ever have anything to do with that girl or her mother, or let alone meet with them. Ah. Yes. I see. Okay. I see. I'm the one that shot myself on my leg. Because I told you about it. Now listen to me, Cynthia. Whatever I decide to do about this issue is none of your business. Okay? Just mind your business. Rubbish. Sandy. Imagine. I'm just concerned. Oh, shut it, please. Friend. Shut it. I'm just being concerned because you're my friend. What is it? What is wrong with you? Gosh. Ever. Mama, don't you think you need to take a little rest or a little break from all of this that you're doing? I think you overlabor yourself. I am not overlabeling myself. Besides, it's good exercise. Up, down, up, down. Eh? <laughs> Mama, I'm not complaining. Mama, you, you always have a way of defending yourself. Eh? But, Mama, you know what? I think I would just want you to take your time out to rest sometimes because I want my mom to always look this young and beautiful for me. Mama will be near. I don't go be free. I've heard you. Eh? I will take out time and rest at the right time. Eh? <laughs> Need you. Oh, no. Uncle Anu, I think I have to go to work now. Before my madam, Madame Tessie, starts shouting at me. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know how she gets at times with me. Okay, now, madam, yeah, okay. Good that she help you. Oh, no, don't worry, bro. I can manage. Have a good day. Mama, Jeme. Mama, Jeme. Mama, Jeme. Mama, Jeme. Mama, Exercise is one, two, one. Sandra, where have you been? I've been looking for you. I've been around, I've been around. So what's up with you? Mm -mm. Don't lie to me. You've not been around. No one has seen you around since all this while. Tell me, I'm your friend. Where have you been, Sandra? Linda. Okay, fine. I'll just tell you. I've been in search of my sister and her mother. I've been looking for them. Oh, that's very good. So, to what's about seeing them like? Seriously, Linda, I'm just confused. Where I went, to, where they were staying before, no one seems to know about them. I asked around, but nothing, no information. 
So what, what are you going to do now? What, what is your plan? Like, what are you trying to do? What is I your don't know, plan? right? I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. Babe, please, I'm just tired. I just want to go in there and rest. I'm famished. Okay, you know what? Don't, don't, don't just worry yourself, okay? You know, I have the strong belief that very, very soon, this whole problem is going to end, okay? Okay, don't just stress yourself just, out. Babe, I, I, I really pray so. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. I just hope so. So, where is Cynthia? <laughs> Alright now, thank you. Right, thank you. Do you know that I'm getting worried by the day? Worried? Why? Is there a problem? Mom is my madam. Your madam? What happened? I don't know, but I just think that woman hates me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've told you times with that woman. Don't say things like that. Why would she hate you? Nagini Mezi. Mom. I'm an adult and I know when someone shows me love and when someone shows me hate. Mom, that woman doesn't like anything about me. She can even do anything to make me lose my job in that house. This is serious. Though. Mom, it's very serious. It's very serious though. Things even go worse when her husband is not around. As you do. There's nothing I do that ever pleases her. She picks at me at the slightest mistake, mom. She doesn't spare me. Okay. Do you know that she poured water on me? Eh? Now give me mercy. This woman poured water on me just because I was 15 minutes late for her errands. Only 15 minutes late, oh mom. Ha. All my efforts to explain things to her that there was traffic on the road. She didn't even listen to me. She didn't listen to me at all. That is how bad it is, man. Mom, why did he? Just take the whole thing as part of your training. Eh? Things will definitely improve. And when that happens, all the humiliation will be in the past. Don't worry. It can't be like this forever, you know. Mom. That's if only we'll be alive to see that day. Shh. Of course we will be alive. Eh? We will be alive. We will be alive. Eh? Mom, it's because of the way things are going. Eh? But if you say so, I've always told you one thing. When there are problems, you take everything to God in prayers. Now eat your food. Leave me an apple, man. Can we see? I just, I answered you when I heard you called me now. Are you now calling me a liar? No, ma'am. Are, 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 are you not calling me? Are you calling me a liar? This useless thing. Eh? Are you calling me a liar? Eh? Eh? Are you calling me a liar? Why did you have to leave my undies in the water I got with you? Eh? Why? I was, I was trying to do it when you asked me to come and wash the car. You are washing what? You are washing the car. Yes, but how long will you take it to wash the car? But please, how long? How, how long will you take it to wash the car? What's going on here? What's going on here? Hmm. Sweetheart. Where did you bring this village champion from? So what has she done this time? What has she done this time? This thing left my own this in the water without washing them. Come on, honey. 
But I overheard you telling her to leave whatever she was doing and come wash the car. Yes. The, the, how long does that have to take her to, to wash the car? How long? How long does she have to wash the car, baby? How long? Disappear from my presence. Now! Before I destroy that thing you call a face! Sleeping! You have to take it easy with this girl. She's trying her best, but you should not like her at all. Hey! A human being, they do this kind of thing. To him, fellow human being. Shut a human being, they do this kind of thing. that was sleeping and left the door open. What is wrong with you? Are you where you're struggling with? Oh my God. Yes, Sandra. My door was open. Yes, Sandra, you left your door open. And only for us to come in here and see you struggling with something as if you're fighting with someone in the dream. Hey. Oh my God. Oh my God. I would have... Hey, I would have saved her. Hey, hey but... The beast. Oh... They saved her. Oh God. Oh, the beast. Which beast are you talking about? You have saved who? Sandra, you are confusing us. Okay, okay, okay. okay. okay you just calm down. Okay. Calm down. Talk to us. I said, what's happening? I had a terrible dream. Yes, girls. I, I saw my cousin, sister, and her mother. Yes, I saw them. They were. Oh God, they were tied in different trees and the beast, yes, I wanted to save them, I wanted to save them but it's like, use the force, I, I, then. This is serious, this is serious. Yes, yes it's serious, yes, it's serious. Sandra, this is not just an ordinary dream. I think we need to do something about this. I wish I knew what to do. Yes, sorry, this is serious. <laughs> They need my help. They need help. I'm sure they're in trouble. Don't you understand? Don't worry. I think I know what to do. Are you serious? Yeah. Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Thank you. Tell me. Okay, Cynthia, please. If you know anything you can do for us to help this people, please, just let us know. Okay? I said you girls should not worry. I know what to do. I'll get to the root of this. Don't worry. Please. Cynthia, I can do anything. I don't want to do anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. What is it? It's okay. They're in trouble. They're in trouble. I saw it in my dream. It's okay. okay. So, it has gotten to the level of you, like me, my own younger brother. Mother, I, I, I swear to God, I swear in God's name, I'm not lying against him. I'm not. God, you, you nothing but a sheep slot. Do you think? I will ever believe this your stupid story. <laughs> My brother in his class 
condescend so low to your level. You're nothing but a stinking, smelly pig! Good girl. Enough, Tessie. Enough. Why call her names? And by the way, we are taking sides already. Why not wait and hear exactly how it happened? Come on, honey. I know my brother too well. He cannot bring himself down to, to this thing. My brother goes for the best. I know him! Julian, yeah. talk to me. What exactly happened? I'm sorry. After work yesterday, I wanted to go home, but Madam said I should not go home, that I should stay back. She complained of being afraid to stay home alone. So I decided to stay back. She said she was not sure of James coming back. And you were not coming back as well last night. And what? Now talk! And, and, and at, at about 11 p.m., James actually came back and... When he came back, I, I told Madame I wanted to go and Madame said I shouldn't go. No, I was too late. So, I... I said... I said James, his food. And I went to sleep in the guest room. <laughs> after, shortly after I slept, I, I, I woke up and uh, I saw someone up there with me. <laughs> when I opened my eyes, it was James. <laughs> I wanted to show up, but... <laughs> he brought out a, a knife and said he was going to stab me. So I could not shout, but I swear he raped me. Just what? Even if you don't want to say, clap for yourself. Hmm? Wale Adenuka Super Story! You can tell a good story. You can tell a good story. Desi! You are impossible. Why can't you show pity for a fellow woman who has just lost her pride to your brother in this manner? Don't you have conscience? Or does her pride as a woman mean nothing to you? I'm disappointed in you. I really am. <laughs> Julian, just calm down. But for the emergency I have now, I will have taken you straight away to the hospital. But don't worry, as soon as I get back the next hour or so, I'll do that, okay? Just get ready. Now, 
quiet and get inside so I deal with you. Get inside! Get inside, I say! Inside now! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, stop crying. Stop crying, it's okay. Now get up, get up. Get up. Let me take it to, to, to the hospital. Oh, Why are you like this? Why have you changed suddenly into a quarrelsome, vicious, hateful woman? I thought I knew you, but no, I don't. <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning that you are no longer the peace-loving woman I married. You now quarrel, nag, over little things. Why is that? So, I'm now in my room. Okay. We are not in my room. So tell me, what has that poor and innocent girl done to you? That she is now your worst enemy. And you see nothing wrong whatsoever in anything she does. She is. Evil. So evil. I don't want her. Period. I don't. You know, I'm wondering who the real evil is here. I'm here to understand that. If it is not you that has become so quarrelsome, so vicious, and violent. Or if it is the poor innocent girl in whom I've seen nothing to deserve this maltreatment from you. Tell me, so who is the real evil here? By the way, why did you withhold her salary for last month? Or has your wickedness got to that level? Mm. Mm. I can't see. There is something going on between you and that idiot I can see but pray to God pray to God I don't get to find out because if I do you know what I can do now listen to me woman you can think whatever you like I don't care but pay attention let this be the last time you will ever withhold a salary Never try it again. And one more thing, never lay a hand on her again. Is that clear? Because if you do, you are going to see the very wrong side of me. I'm warning for the last time. I said it. I said it. There is something cynical going on here. There is something. Ah, they see. Hmm. This fire, this fire that this girl is starting, I will make sure I burn her inside it. I will burn her inside it. Oh. Are you saying I was the very first man Juliet brought to this house? And. It was my father who drove you out of that place. Mom. Yes. You're the first man that she brought home. If Juliet had another man, would I be struggling and slaving my life away, hawking fruits on the streets just to put food on our table? Besides, if we're really 
taking those properties. We would have sold them and started a better life for ourselves. Or <laughs> you would probably be sitting on a better chair. Not on this plastic chair. Don't you? This is not it fair. Is. It's so not fair. Life has not been fair to us. Life has not been fair to us. But we've accepted it as God's will. And I get your good bitch. We cannot fight God. We can't. Something. Something has to be done about this. I mean, you, you can't continue like this. You can't continue this way. Please, Johnson. I beg of you in God's name. Just just leave us the way we are. I and my mom, we've been through so much already. We've been through so much pain and humiliation. I don't think we're ready to go through another one. Just leave us the way we are. Please. We're gonna be fine. Please. What must be done? Must be done. Driving like someone whose house is on fire. I thought I knew you well, Dad. I was meaning of that rubbish. Every responsible father does the best for their child. Why is yours different? Why are you bent on killing my joy? Mr. Son, I can't wait for you to rain these allegations of this school. What has Juliet done to you? What? What do you want from her? Don't insult me or... Or you kill me? You killed me the very day you threw Juliet and her mother out of that house and came back to tell me they ran away with all the property. Why did you do what you did? Are you questioning me? I have every right to. I am beginning to suspect you have got something to do with that lunatic who showed up at the church with some fake marriage certificate. I don't know what you're talking about. Deny it. Deny you did not throw Juliet and her mother out of that house. Deny you did not send your boys to throw your things out of that compound. This is so. I wanted the best for you. That girl, Juliet, is not good enough for you. A girl who will hide the fact that she was already married to somebody and goes ahead to marry you again? She's not. Oh, right. cut it, father, cut it! Juliet has never been married. I was the first one she took to her house, and I will dig. I will dig until I unravel whoever is behind this. And for your sake, I pray it is not you. Johnson! Johnson! What is wrong with this boy? Gillette. Mama, this is Engineer Dave, the man I told you I work for. Hi, 
Hey, nah. No. Hey, Engineer Dave. Oh, mwa. Juliet has told me all you've been doing for her. Oh, really? Nadalo. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you. Especially after that accident she had. All the treatment you gave her. I... May the God of the widows and the fatherless bless you. Never can not get him a seat. Let's have one song. Let's have one song. Come on, let me wait. Oh, so, so, so. Eh. Let me let you come on. Thank you. Hi. No. Hi. No, mom. Uh, you know, before she called me, I was in the kitchen preparing something. Okay. Let me get you some food. No, no, no. Uh, Are you sure? Not to worry. I am part of this family. I'm not a stranger. So uh, don't, don't, don't worry. Oh. Oh, God. I'm not a stranger. Uh, uh, how is your wife? She's fine. She sends her regards. Can I let me a greet her for me? Hello, oh. Biko. Biko, just let me just go back to the kitchen and finish up. Oh, can you not lay lock up? Juliet, Mama, Diana. Juliet, why did you lie to your mother? Why did you tell her the truth? Why did you say you, you had an accident? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lied. Eh? I lied because I don't want my mom to see you and your family as bad people. I know how she can get with things like that. Besides, she would have stopped me from working for you people by now if she knew. And I wouldn't want that too. Because I, I knew how long it took me to get the job. That's why I lied. I'm sorry. I see. So you were actually trying to save the face of the woman that almost killed you. If I hadn't come to your rescue at the time I did. Eh. But God brought you at the right time now to save me. Eh? That was why you came. It wasn't even up to the one hour you said you were going to spend outside. And eh? you saved me. I think you're right. You're right because I didn't even get to where I intended to go. Something just told me to turn and go back to the house. And I'm glad I listened to that voice. Thank you, sir. Uh, so why didn't you tell me you had accommodation issues? I don't like this place at all. I don't like the environment. But, sir, the truth is that since there is nothing we can do about it, we have to like it. We have to accept it the way it is and like it. Huh? Not anymore. I will not forgive myself if I fail to do anything about it. I don't like this place and I, 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 I'll definitely do something about it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You have to look Thank for you, something sir. better. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you. Excuse me, sir. Mama. Mama is coming. Okay. Um, Mama said she will ask you if you eat something. I don't know. I'm not too worried. I already told you I'm okay. I don't want to eat it. Yeah. Hey, Wo. Hi. Welcome, Oga. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Amen. <laughs> I don't seem to understand. Honestly, yeah. what do we do from this point now? I don't know what to do. Dad, Dad, this is the third time I'm seeing them in my dream. And, and that beast, that beast is always after them. Hmm. The question is, what does the beast want from them? Dad, I really wish I had an answer to that question. I'm just confused. Hmm. Okay. If it is true that it, there is a beast after them then it probably means that the gods are actually not happy with them 
And it also means that one of them has a hand in my brother's death. Dad? Oh my God, Father! I'm disappointed at your thought! No! I believe they're innocent. Yes. I'm just, I'm just worried. I know, I have this feeling, I have this feeling that they're in trouble. Something is wrong somewhere. They're innocent. I believe they are innocent too, but what can we possibly do now? No one knows where to find them or where they are in the first place. And I've been to places where they might be, but there are no traces of them. Maybe they're not alive. Oh my God, Father Jesus, God forbid! God forbid, God forbid. Father, oh. please, I, I know, I know you can do this, but I know you're a great man, Dad. I want you to help. I want you to help me look for them. Please, Dad, please, I beg you. Okay. Well. For your sake, I will do everything possible to ensure that they are found. Oh my God! Thank you, Dad. Thank you. I'm not sure oh, around, okay? oh, Dad! To the best, Dad. Thank you so much. They will be found. I know. Mama, Juliet, Juliet. Is anyone home? You've been searching for true love. Mama! Seeking for someone to love you. Someone to understand. Someone to care. Mama! Mama! Juliet! Sorry, sorry. Good, morning. good morning, thank you. Um, do you know where the occupants of this building are? Auntie Juliet and the mother. Exactly. Do you know where they have gone? Uh, uh, I don't know, but I saw them parking their properties in the vehicle two days ago. But I worry about now, it's not what I'm too sure of. Um, but parking their properties, are you, are you suggesting they have moved? I don't know. Yes. Where to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, do you have any foreign address or anything I can look at them with? When has it be, have you become so arrogant that you have no respect for your father anymore? My arrogance started the very day you decided to stand between me and my happiness. You are not my father, so don't even see yourself as such. Johnson, what is all this madness? Why? Why did you throw them out? Why did you have to go push them out of the little place they found refuge? Why? What do you mean? And who are these people you are talking about? I give you 48 hours to bring back and find the others and among. Else, you will see the other side of me. I will do something so drastic, any ear that hears it will tingle. Mark my word, Father. Johnson!
Gucci, Baba. You're welcome, my children. You have come to seek the way about of your cousin and her widowed mother. Nothing is hidden from the eyes of the gods. Before them, we are all naked. Please, Baba, do anything within your powers to help us find them. Please, it, it, it's making my friend have sleepless nights. Please, Baba. What is after them is a very, very strong spirit. Who wants them to suffer? To finally die. Sir, um, um, who, who, where, where is the spirit? And where is my cousin and her sister? Who is the spirit? Who, who, The identity of the spirit and the whereabouts of your sister and her mother was not revealed. But a sacrifice will be performed to identify the spirit. After that, I will be able to stop the spirit from harming them. Okay, and um, Baba, like, what items are, are needed? A black goat, seven cola nuts, gunpowder, and a bottle of hot drink. Okay, Baba, no problem. We'll get back today. That will be between 24 hours. No problem, Baba. We'll come back before that. Thank you, sir. Come on, 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 come I have single-handedly raised you all these years since the demise of his mother. Although these past years I've tried to make you happy as a father, where did I go wrong? You have just 24 hours to provide them or I won't be responsible for my actions. I saw why so much hatred. You now talk to me as if I'm your worst enemy. You used to be my best friend. What happened? Why all this? Give me one reason why I should trust you. Because I'm your father. I'm your only surviving parent. I won't deceive you. Believe me, son. I don't know anything about their present location. Yes, I threw them out, and that's because I thought what happened on that wedding day was true. But those people are suffering. They need help, our help. Just tell me what you want me to do for you, and I promise I will do it. I want them found, and I want a better life for them. Consider it done, son. Consider it done. Just be happy for me. Happiness comes when one is fulfilled. Right now, I am empty and deserted. I want Juliet and her mother found and given a better life. That's when I'll be happy. Sandra, what's up? Are you seeing school today? No, you're not seeing my show. I woke up late. Okay, that's that. Right. So what's up now? The movement you had since I did this day. The Babalawo. Babalawo, you said? The... Yes, so. <laughs> Girl. Yes, so I was surprised and scared like you at first. <sighs> Babe, guess what? The man said that what is chasing them is an evil spirit. And the evil spirit will not even rest until they die. <gasps> so, 
I don't know. He asked us to go now. We need to get some 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 things for sacrifice. After which she will tell us what to do next. So what's about you guys got on it? Yes, so we got it that same day, but he asked us to come tomorrow. Hmm. Please, in that case, I may follow you guys. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, seriously? No problem now, because me, I need to my sister. Daughters of doom, keep your greetings to yourself before I seal your mouth. We have offended you. We are sorry. We don't know what's going on. Please help us. Who sent you to come and destroy me? Why do you seek the downfall of my shrine? Please, Baba, can you please speak to us in a language you understand? You are not, you're very angry. Please calm down, sir. Calm down and watch you destroy me. No, it will not work. It will not work. Baba, what is the problem? What, what did we do? I don't have the permission to discuss with you on this matter any longer. Your last visit almost cost me my life. I was warned not to engage in the sacrifice, but I refused to heed to that warning, and that almost cost me my life. The forces that was with the beasts that you saw in your dream almost strangled me. Jesus, what? Sorry, Baba. Sorry. Baba, you can you can still do something yes. for us. I don't have the permission to discuss with you on this case. You don't live here in this moment. Out! Double that, double that, you wanna go? I can't believe it. This place is just heavenly. Hey! 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 My daughter and I are very grateful. Indeed. We will forever be indebted to you, darling. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you for reaching out to us in this manner. Thank you. Well, I'm happy. I'm indeed happy that I've been able to put those smiles on your beautiful faces once more. And um, trust me, I'll be there for you anytime. Any day is a promise you can count on that. Nadalo, thank you. You're welcome. I am particularly happy that you, you like the place. <laughs> we don't like the place, so <laughs> we love it. We love the place. Hey, I know Ah, that's good to hear. Really good to hear. And uh, Juliet, Sir. I don't want you to continue working for me and my wife as a household. You know why? You are going back to school. Eh? Yeah. Hey! Nah, you, you, you've done so much already. Nah, I'm not complaining. I'm not. Besides, such a brilliant girl, she will not be allowed to waste like that. We need to encourage her to attain the very top. You know that she desires, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Hey. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, sir. Thank you very much. No. Okay. Well, just, well, thank just you very much, sir. Okay. Okay. So, if I'm going back to school, mom, yeah. but, but sir, you've already done so much. Uh, you don't have to. You, 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 I'm not complaining. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go and get him something to eat. No, 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 no. I should be on my way now. No, dear, guys, I understand. You do not eat the kind of food we eat. But this soup is special. I have Oboroko inside it. I have dried fish inside it. Oko has wasa. Really? Asa! Or you can manage in Abia. Okay. Eh? You can I guess I have no choice if you insist. I will let you have it. You will make me happy. Let's go. 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 My brothers. Things are not only bad, it is getting worse. I am not comfortable, I'm not finding it funny again. The least I have to say is I am scared and no longer comfortable the way things are going on right now in this community. Our Igwe, the king, who is supposed to be at the forefront of this fight, is not yet back from his so-called checkup abroad. Oh. Diokloura himself, he says that this is just the beginning. What we are seeing is the tip of the iceberg. That very soon, worse things are coming upon us like a deluge. What can be worse than what we are going through now? What can be worse than our river suddenly going dry? <laughs> oh, what can be worse than rain not falling for several months <laughs> and we are suffering? <sighs> My people. Are you sure the Igwe has not gotten the information and decided to stay over there till all these calamities are over? Oh. Uba, you have a point there. Otherwise, there is no reason for an Igwe to abandon his community at a period of crisis like this. The question now is, what do we do? How do we salvage this bad situation? You wait now. We will wait. Okulara says he's still going on with the sacrifices. So we will wait until he finishes so that we can see what change will come. If it will come. That reminds me. I've not even paid the 5,000 naira levy for the sacrifice. Mazuba, what are you talking about? Are you not the one who opened this your mouth to say that there's only four days to the sacrifices, yet you have not paid? Mazike, <clears throat> things are really hard. You yourself, you know I am not as rich as you are. What? You have a point. You have a point because I am beginning to be worried now that within the last three months we have sacrificed 15 cows. <coughs> Yet, nothing has nothing. changed. Absolutely nothing. God, we are still suffering. We are still talking. <coughs> now, what are we going to do? But nevertheless, I will run along to make sure I pay before it's late. If you don't pay now, they will say that you are contributing to the problem. <laughs> I think I will better go with you so that we will do something about it at once. Okay, I thank you people for coming. I still don't understand why Baba had to chase us the last time. No, it was very, very confusing and embarrassing. Assistance now. I think Baba is the only hope we have now. Yes. That's what I try to say. I don't be found the words. I didn't say that. See. Look, the way things are, I think Baba is the only one we have right now to help us find them. So yes. Kill. Sandra, what's up? You're not talking. Are you not here? Sandra, what is it? What do you want me to say? See, I have nothing to say. I'm just confused. Girls, I wish I knew what to do. I'm just tired. No, okay, girls. You know, I'll just go for a prophet or a pastor or something. Please stop it. Go for a prophet, pastor. The one that will pray from now to 100 years to come and still nothing will happen. See, pastors, they've dealt with me, so I don't trust them anymore. Yes. Babes, please, um, it's okay. Right now, I don't think I want to go to any pastor or native doctor. 
Like you're just a shop. I think all I will just do now is go to the police. Give them my sister a picture and, and a mother. They can help me look for her or something. Babe, see, all these things. God, Sandra. I can just, I can allow my uncle's family name to just wipe off just like that. No, no, it's not possible. I need to do something. I need to look for them. Sandra, police is not going to do anything with this. You and I know that the spirit behind this is a very strong spirit. So, we don't need police here. No girls. No. We really just, we just need to sleep over this issue, you know. So by the time we wake up, we have got something to need you. Are you not getting it? I'm still saying and I'll continue saying because I know Baba is the only hope we have right now. Yes. <sighs> Hi girls. When I see speaking, you girls are looking. Sorry, can you come back tonight? Are you stupid? <laughs> Are you stupid? Wait, wait. Do we look like all those your chewing gum girls? No, Don't no, you have class? Don't you? Oh, no. <laughs> Please, calm down. I didn't mean to disrespect you girls. <laughs> Babes, let's go. No, no, so Please, let's go. <laughs> Sweetie, can I also leave you? Oh my god. <laughs> I know I am not much of a church goer. I know I don't know much of the Bible. But I know you said that we should call upon you in times of trouble. And you will answer us. The other day in this church, on this same pulpit, the pastor read from the book of Matthew 7 verse 7, where you say that we should ask and it shall be granted unto us. And we should seek and we shall find. And we should knock and you shall open the door for us. Lord, I have come before you today to ask to seek and to knock and I know you have no intention of turning your back on me but if by any chance you intend not to answer my prayers I have news for you I will never rest you know what that means? you will never rest as well I will keep disturbing you until you grant me my heart desire. Father, Lord, please don't turn your back on me. Father, please help me find my sweet, loving Juliet and her mother. This I ask you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And, and who are you looking at? What is the problem? Did I hear you well? Your daughter! Hey! Take a good look at me. Just, just look at me. Hmm? Do I in any way look like this, your sheep prostitute of a daughter? Ha! Huh. 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 <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> Tell this thing to leave my husband alone. Tell her to leave my husband alone! As for you, you think your sham is working, right? Abby? Madam, it's you not think what your sham is working! It's not what you think, oh. Eh? Shh! If you don't leave him alone alive, you will leave him in death! Go for a beat. Go for a beat. Go for a beat. Madam, it's not what you think. Hey! Hey, you know what you think? Hey, you know what you think? 
by the time I come back to this house. And I meet you two vultures here. Vultures. You will know why I am called Tessie Baby. You call me nonsense. You use the Tessie Baby. You are the one that is the vulture. With that outfit you are wearing, you need to go and get a vulture. You need to go and get a vulture. Baby, I'm not a vulture. We get a vulture. And you, what do you have to do with her husband? Eh? Why are you believing Anna? Why are you believing Anna? Why are you? You want to do that way? Juju, 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 you want to do You know that I love you so much. Mm. That you've always been a good girl. Mm. I know we've gone through situations that could change a good girl from being good to bad. But you've remained that good child that I bore. Mm. Why are you saying all of this? That woman that came here today. What do you have to do with her husband? Okay. Mom. That woman's name is Tessie. She's my madam. She happens to be Engineer Dave's wife. Jesus Christ! Don't tell me you're having an affair with, with your boss's husband just so you can change our situation. Mom? How can you say a thing like that? You know that's not true. Mom, I don't have any form of relationship with my boss. Engineer Dave is a very nice man, and you know it. Besides, he has never even said anything as regards me having an affair with him. So that woman came here to accuse you wrongly? Mom. Mom. I thought I've told you severally that that woman doesn't like me. She doesn't like me one bit. Why? Okay, mom, what if I now tell you that all those injuries I had on my body and I told you I had an accident that she actually beat me up? What? She beat you up? Hi! And you did not tell me? You did not tell your mother? Mom, you know I can't tell you such. Besides, I know how you can get with issues like that. Even Engineer Dave wanted telling you I had to practically beg him not to. Because I don't want you to have any problem with anybody. We need to move out of this place. Mom? Why? This place? You mean leave everything? 
But mom, she wasn't the one that gave us this house, you know. The property belongs to her husband. That woman spells Okay, so you heard what the man said, right? Dad, is there no other person that can help us? I don't trust that man. I don't. You don't trust Okute? Okute is the strongest herbalist in the whole of this East. As a matter of fact, other herbalists, including even pastors, come to him for powers. If he tells you this is true, it remains true. So, so what about the, the evil spirit that's always disturbing them? Are we going to allow the beast to kill them? Huh? And it doesn't mean my uncle's line will just go down just like that, just end. My dear, I am worried stiff myself. I wish there was something serious I could do to change all of this. It's given me sleepless nights too. I don't know what to do. Really, Dad, I feel we've not done anything right to savage the situation. Are you telling me that I have not done much to salvage this situation? Are you saying that I have not done enough? Okay. Maybe you have other ideas to share with me. You share it and I will do. Tell me what I think. Tell me what you think I should do. Then I will do it. That's the point that I, I, I wish I knew. I don't know. Oh, you don't know. If you don't know, let's go home.
Last time I saw them was in Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt? Oh my god. What? what are they doing in Port Harcourt? I don't know. It beats me. I ran into them somewhere and then I went back there to see if I could relocate them. On getting there, I met a small boy who told me they had moved. And ever since then, I've not touched my eyes. Do you know I've been searching for them? I even went to Onicha. But I didn't see them. Oh my god. That means I have to start looking for them in Port Harcourt now. Maybe you should. Please, have my card. Okay, okay, no problem. Call. I will, I will. Thank you. You're I'll be on my way. Alright. Thank you. When you still love, when you still love, you fit to recognize her. When you still love, when you still love, you fit to recognize her. Cause true love is everywhere But true love is Stop what you're doing Go and pack your things We need to leave this place now Because our lives are in danger Mom, how do you mean? Eh? Someone told me that Tessie was here yesterday Madam Tessie came with policemen to arrest us Besides, I saw some people patrolling the compound We need to get out of here Mom, where do we go from here then? Where? How do you How would I know? Eh? How do I go to them? It is better we live here alive than dead. If we die here, nobody will know. I'm not going to die. But, Mom, Ogadev is not back from his trip now. Yeah, Ogadev, eh? Okay. Wait for Ogadev. Check your call, Mata. But if you're the child that I gave birth to, you will follow me and get out of this. Chai! Mom, what is it? Wait, wait. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wait, wait, wait. Mom, I can't. Chai! Ah, he's very good. Chai! You got that water, water! Chai! Listen, this is not a matter of crying. Okay? This is not a matter of crying. I just have to be honest with you. You have to act fast. Then I'll be able to run this surgery. Doctor, please, I beg of you. I beg you in God's name. Help my mother. We don't have this kind of money anywhere. Uh, doctor, please have mercy. I have tried for you. I've tried for you, okay? And that is why I reduced this money. What, what do you expect of me to do? To run the surgery without any money? No, 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 no. Doctor, that's what I'm saying. Doctor, see, here's my money. Eh? Doctor, I have 35,000 naira here with me. I beg you, why not, why not start with this first and then I'll, I'll go and look for the other parts. This is all I have here. Doctor, it's 35,000 naira. I beg of you, don't listen. Just, just listen. Help listen. my mom. We don't run a charity organization here. Why not go get the 150,000? Then we start. 
Then you go get the remaining two hundred thousand. Is that not fair enough? Okay. Uh, uh, doctor, you don't understand. My mom is all I've got. She's all I've left in this world. She's my everything. She's my backbone. Please don't let this happen to her. I beg you in God's name. Doctor, please. Listen, young lady. Listen, young lady. You. Just listen up. Listen. You see, I've done what I'm supposed to do for you, okay? It's not left for you to know what to do. If your mother loses her sight, of course you know whom to blame. <laughs> no, doctor, no. Please. I need to go and check for other patients. So wicked to us. We are back again on the street with with nothing. Where do I even go from here? Who would help me save my mom? Who? I can't. Walker Dave is not back from the street yet. I can't even reach him on the phone. Hmm, Johnson. Hmm. Well, how can I? How can I reach him when I don't even have his number? Huh. That doesn't sound like a good idea. That didn't sound like a good idea at all. Because his father will not spare me if he sees me around his house. Oh. Well, come on, Juliet. Juliet, 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 just. Julia, try. Huh? Yes. Yes. There's no harm in trial. That is all I am. Too late too. That one is making me the coin again. Why are you so just 
Oh, I should not come out. So, this is what you and your mother have been going through. Uncle, Uncle, we have really suffered. Me and my mom, we've been through a lot. Uncle, I just, I beg of you, just do all you can to help save my mother. Well, that's not a problem. Hmm? Uh, meanwhile, you will stay here tonight. Hmm? But you will wake up very early in the morning and leave to avoid all of these people from seeing you. I'm sure none of them saw you coming. When you leave here, you will go to the bank where I will meet you and then we will go and see your mother. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I, I have decided to damn all the consequences of keeping you with me, no matter what. Besides, Sandra has been so well. I'm sure she'll be very happy to hear that you are alive. We have been instructed to bring this useless girl here and stone her to death. Yes. Yes. So let's complete the mission at this point. Yes. Oh, you are going to be better. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Did you hear the sound? Yes, yes I heard it too. It sounds strange. It's true. I can hear it too. <laughs> We must stone this girl to death and get out of here! Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of you. Something is going on for this mission. I'm still here talking about stoning her. What, what if it's because of your soul? What do we tell the others? We must accomplish our mission! And I'm... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, do you think if I take this down here and meet you, do you think we can make her? No, I'll be alright. Yes, you're let's right. Let's go. After let's, go. let's go, let's go, let's go. This girl is good. Yeah, yeah, she's already there. What are you doing? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is strange, Sandra. You mean she did not come here? Johnson, what will I gain if I refuse to tell you that she came here? What will I gain? No, I didn't see her. I don't get it. I... This whole thing is confusing. The more I try to figure it out, the more confusing it gets. Oh my God, sorry. My dad. Hello, dad. What? Jesus Christ! No! No, 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 no! What is no. it? No, no! No, 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 the one you and I are looking for, she's... You know, no, it's not true. No, you... What are you saying, Sandra? Oh my god, oh Sandra, my look, god. listen, hey, you have to take me to the place right now. Oh. No, no, it, it can't be. Oh, my you... father, he said that she came to beg him for money for her mom's surgery. Then she was stoned to death. Yeah, I don't know. It's stoned so... to death. Yes, why? Juliet, why, God, why? I, I don't not believe this. I... I have to go there right away, Sandra. This is no time to cry. Let's let just, just get me to the scene. I have to speak up, please. Sandra! Sandra! How do you do Why? 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 This is barbaric. They have to pay for this. Calm down, son. 
there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. How do you mean? It's their tradition. There is nothing you or I can do now that will bring her back to life. Hmm? So, seeing her dead body alone, would have told you that. I didn't see her dead body, Dad. Before we could get to the scene where she was stoned to death, her body was no longer there. What? This is serious. So who took the body? I wish I knew. I, I, I wish I saw her one last time. At least to tell her how much I loved her. Those people are heartless. They are wicked. My son, be a man. No amount of tears you shed now that will bring Juliet back again to life. We failed Juliet. We were supposed to be there for her and her mother, but we were not. Take it easy, son. Take it easy. It wasn't your own fault anyway. The gods know better. It's not your fault. <laughs> Papa. Juliet. How are you today? I'm fine, Papa. Where are you going? Papa, I want to go home. Are you sure you are fine enough to go alone? Ah, Papa, I'm very okay to go home. Oh. I'm very okay. Okay, if you say so. But besides, what did you do to them that they want to kill you? Ah, Papa, I have taken my time to explain everything to you. But you seem not to really believe my story. What reason do I have to lie to a man like you? Eh? The only thing I owe you at least is the truth. A man who saved my life. Even when my own people left me for dead. Eh? The least I owe you is the truth. And all I told you is the truth. I'm not hiding anything from you. Eh? I'm not. Hmm. I don't believe that such a thing will happen in this century. <laughs> well, but it actually happened. Um, Papa, I need to go home to my mom. I need to go because my mom really needs me at this point in her life. Okay, no problem. But it can be now. Papa, I'm strong enough. I, I, I'm strong enough to go. Eh, I'm leaving here today, promising you that I will take care of myself. Eh, I, I'm strong now. Papa, I'm very strong now. If you insist, I will give, give you my support. Thank you, Papa. I regret I don't have much to give you to help you in your mother's son. Okay, well. But please, manage job. Hmm? Chai. Papa, God bless you. Thank you very much. This God, this God you see, eh? This God will bless you for me. And I promise I will never forget your life. In my life, I will never forget you. May God bless you for me. The good Lord we serve will protect you. Yes. <laughs> Remember to be prayer. That is what you need. Thank you, Papa. Thank you all. Let me go now. Okay, bye. Be careful. All right. Bye bye. bye.
lady left in the pretense of going to get money for her mother's surgery. Yet no one has seen or heard from her. So this is exactly how they would have run away with my money if I have run the operation without collecting my money. The worst part of it is that we don't have her contacts and her mother keeps crying saying that she doesn't know the whereabouts of her daughter. If not, she would have come to see her without abandoning her here. That's her business. She cannot be occupying our world, cannot be keeping her here, feeding her without getting any money from her. We don't run a charity home here. So you go to her ward and make sure she leaves the place. But sir, I don't think she has a place to go to. I heard her saying that they were sent out of where they were without anything. And considering her blind state, I don't think it's very good to send her away right now, sir. But we'll take care of her bill. What if the daughter doesn't come back? Or come back to say that she didn't get any money? That's the problem. You can go. Thank you, sir. All right. You said you are the God of justice. You said you are the God of the innocent. You said you bring justice to the innocent. Why did you let this happen? Why did you let them kill her? Why did you let this happen to a poor innocent girl? Why did you pretend like you didn't hear my prayers? Why? Why did you let my prayers go in vain? Why did you make me look so stupid and pitiless? God bless you! Why come to your God with such a heavy heart? Why speak like one without faith? I had faith. But he failed me. God never failed those who trust and serve him. And God, God has not failed you. Then why, why did he let them kill her? Why did he let them not die in innocence? Nothing is hidden before him. Why did he make me see her before them? Why? My brother, nothing is hidden before our God. He knows before anything happens. You see, God allows whatever thing that happened to happen for a reason. And that reason must be to the glory of reason. But Pastor, I speak no further. Unless you want to attract the wrath of God to yourself. Come, let me show you something in the Bible. Come. Just come with me. This is what we have been passing through since you traveled. The people are no longer happy with this cabinet. Igwe, all of us seated here, we have done everything possible to ensure that this calamity stops. But the more we do things, the more it looks like we are not even doing anything. But well, did you people try consulting other seers from the other kingdoms? Igwe, we did. Even the almighty Echi Dime, but nothing seems to be right. Everything will be right when justice reigns. 
Okurara, please talk to us. What is the meaning of all these calamities that have been happening in my kingdom? The liberation of this kingdom is with Juliet. Juliet, which, which Juliet? Huh? The one. This particular council banished alongside her innocent widowed mother. I said it. Said what, Okafu? I told you people to leave my brother's wife and only daughter out of this problem because the offense was committed by my brother. But you people will not listen to me. Now here we are now. Quiet, Okafu. Okulara, please, how can we locate this Juliet? Uh, she was stoned to death. She was stoned because she violated the laws of banishment. She was seen in the village. So you all think? Or you thought she was dead? Okulara, we don't think. We know. All of us here knew she was stoned to death by the youths. What is happening here? Who do I believe? She lives. Yeah. She lives. Lives. Juliet. Katubulatu. Yes. She lives. All and Mary, the princess of the rain, is still alive. And she must be found and brought back to this kingdom. Upon her return, she will be crowned the princess of the rain. Okulara, even if she is alive. She did not pass the purification process and test, which others who failed passed through. If she does not take her proper position in this kingdom, this kingdom will face worse situation than she's facing right now. Hi! Where do we locate Juliet? This cabinet banished her and her mother for what they knew nothing about the same cabinet must provide her and this must be done before the next AK market failing to do this the kingdom will witness the worst situation from the gods you must bring her home with her mother and this cabinet must beg them for forgiveness before she will be crowned. That is the message from the gods. That is the message from the gods. Even me lebro do atulo njo. Ane ka ane kalabala mbwa bala fta abla roli biengwa. Oke chama la bo no no mbodi ke jelebu. Asu la machama chama chama chavona no devla wone ni machen yuru. Awa ne buye bugi ne megi ne bo. This is serious. AK is only four days from now. Okafo. Igwe. Any clue where we can locate Juliet? Igwe, with utmost due respect, I have absolutely nothing to do with this particular event because I was not part of the team that decided that my only brother's daughter and wife should be banished from this kingdom. So let those who banished my brother's wife and daughter go back and bring them. That is it. Okafo, why are you talking like this? Talking like somebody whose mouth is studded with stones. We are talking of how to stop war and you are here telling us something else. Eh? Solution. Can you, only Solution. Can you imagine? Keep yeah. quiet! Why are you like this, Okafo? Keep quiet! You, you talk like someone whose tongue has been twisted by the gods. It is you. 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 Quiet. Quiet. Igwe. Quiet. Sorry for yourself. Let me tell you people. All of us are in this business together. And we have to come out of it together. Any one of you who tries to back out, we have need to contend with. We will. My dear, 
The Lord said I should tell you not to worry again. Your tears are over. Amen. Just have faith in God. You see, God allowed what happened to happen because He wants to draw you closer to Himself. He wants you to be very close to Him. Hmm? It is well. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. You have been of immense help to me and I truly appreciate it. It is well. It is well. Um, I am actually on my way to the hospital. Could you please give me a lift so I can pick a car on the No, I... I would actually take you to the hospital. Anything? Sorry. You have a relative at the hospital? No, really. I knocked down a lady some days ago and she was hospitalized. So I want to go and see how she's doing today. Jesus. Pastor, I... I hope it's not so serious. No, 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 no. God is in total control. God is on his throne. God is on his throne. So, let's... Juliet, how are you today? Johnson. Juliet, do you two know each other? Pastor, this is the exact person I was telling you about. Juliet, but I thought you said she's dead. That was what I was told. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Juliet, you're alive? Yes. What happened? A very long story. It's a long story, but I know it's okay. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. I thought I'd lost you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just to thank God for me. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, how can you not solve the problem of your mother? I failed her. I failed my mom. I was supposed to be there for her. Don't blame yourself for your mother's blindness. God knows why it happened. No. I don't care about that anymore. I just, just feel like putting an end to all of this. It's too much of No one has the right to do the work of God. It is not the will of God for you to kill yourself. But, if it is the will of God that your mom regains her sight, she will after the operation and longer. London? What operation are you talking about? Johnson is making arrangements to fly her abroad for an operation. <sighs> Who are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about Johnson. He has actually been disturbing me about the whole marriage issue again. And he even proposed to me yesterday. And what did you say? Please just take me to her, please. I want to see her. From your condition, Sandra. Which is? Listen, I know things have been pretty awkward between you and I lately. I know we've not had the best of times. But I beg you with everything you hold sacred. I beg you in the name of God. Help me convince Juliet to marry me. 
I, I, I love her so much. I, I love her with everything that makes me. I, I, I know she refused to marry me because of my father, but when I look at her, I know deep down she loves me. Please, will you? Fine. I will. Just, just take me to her. I want to see her. Look at this small young girl. She's a I am blind today because of them. If they had allowed her, if only they allowed her, I would have had the operation because your father was ready to pray for it. But no, tell Please, please, please. Just forgive them. Why not for anything for the sake of the innocent ones that are losing their lives? And, and the ones that are already losing their lives like my father. Eh? What can you do? Okay, baby. Sandra. Sandra. What happened to Uncle Kafo? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Talk to me, oh, what is wrong with your father? Uh, yes. What is that? Juliet, you need to see my father. You can even look at him. I had tried, my head down, people died in the streets of two days. I only got no one who happened if you guys don't call. My best, my best, my best, my best, my best. Nothing will happen to a car for my brother, my husband's brother. You know, we will go, we will go, stop crying. Yes, your father is a nice man, we will go. We will go with you. Ebezina, Ebezina, Ebezina. It's okay. It's just like a girl for his sake. Stop crying. When you come for is a nice man. I will go with you. If I'm gonna measure, measure my mouth, I will go. Sandra, if we would go like like my mom just said, but we're going there just because of the sake of. Your father, my uncle, and for the sake of other innocent people that that may lose their life, if we don't go. We're not going because of Olamiri. Is your mama going to bless you, Juliet? Mama is going to bless you. Oh, my mama. So, bless you now, mama. Mama, thank you. It's okay. It's okay, Miss Na. Where are we going? Where are we going, mama? Maybe tomorrow. We will go tomorrow, yes. But we, we have to wait for Pastor Ken to come back. He has to go with us. We need to discuss with him. Okay, Sanji. Oh, we have to discuss it with him. Now, when you say this, eh? I thought we had settled this before. You did not tell me of her present condition. But Dad, you know this. Johnson, I will not allow my only child marry a cripple. When there are many girls out there looking for husbands to marry. Johnson, why do you want to drag the name of this family in the mud? You are the one who has vowed not to see your only son happy. Don't talk to me in such a despicable manner. When you say love, you will not. When you say love, Nobody in our lineage has ever married a cripple or anybody with any form of disability. So you will not, do not start from me. You are my son and you will not write history. At least not when I'm alive. Juliet was not born a cripple. 
It was an accident. Moreover, if you hadn't thrown she and her mother out of that house, this would not have happened. Why are you making things so complicated and difficult? Can, can't you see I love her? Can't you see how, how happy I have become since I found her again? Oh, Jesus. I weep for you. I can see the spell that girl and her mother cast on you. It's working. But I assure you, I know a very strong man who can destroy it. Oh, yes. I will make sure I bring you back to your senses. If I don't get married to Juliet, then kiss every dream of carrying your grandchildren goodbye. Because I'm going to remain single forever. Suit yourself. I'm not moved by your threat. I'm not threatening you. It's a fact. I heard all that's happened to you and your daughter in this community when I was not around. But I want to let you people know that I did not know anything about the world. However, let me tell you people that your banishment from this kingdom has caused a lot of problems. And as revealed by Ukloa, the liberation of this kingdom will come with the return of you and your daughter. We are sorry, please forgive and forget. Oh, we are very sorry. sorry. We are sincerely sorry. Please, we are sorry. Please, we are sorry. For all the ill treatments, please, sir. Please forgive us. My fathers. Eh, what can we say? We forgive. Igwe, you're a good man. You're a decent man. God will bless you. He said. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. Alice, our wife, we are deeply sorry for everything. Igwe, let us send message across to Kulora. So for us to start the cleansing, many people have lost their lives and many at the point of death. Let us be fast in whatsoever we are about to do. So to save their lives, especially that of Okafo. Okafo? You mean Uncle Okafo? Yes. No, dear. Nga. How? Ah, Igwe, what can we do to save his life? I do not want to lose my uncle. We shall go straight to the shrine for the sacrifice to be carried out. And after that, we shall go to the shrine of all Amiri for you to be crowned the princess of the reign. Eh? Hey, Mbani. Me? Mbani, you go no. You go for gone. Princess of all Amiri. Yes. Igwe. My fathers, eh, please, I'm very sorry. Uh, we only came here so that we can help to save lives. We do not come to partake in any ritual or coronation into Olamiri. Or, uh, we don't understand what you're talking about. We cannot be part of it, Igwe. My I'm daughter. sorry. My daughter, what do you mean by that? My fathers, Igwe, we are Christians. We do not believe in idol worship. So we, we cannot partake in any form of sacrifice that we know nothing about. I'm sorry. My daughter, that is the only way out. Mbamba Igwe, that is not the only way out. Jesus is the only way out of any situation. He, we, we, we came here with a man of God, a powerful one. Pastor, come on, baby, 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 on one person. And this particular person is the reason for all that has been happening in this community. Igwe. 
Igwe, God saved your life because of Fuku Dao. If not for the grace of God upon your life, Igwe, you would have been dead. Hey! And your throne taken from you. Thank you, Jesus. What are you talking about? Hey! <laughs> Thank God! Lives will be restored today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lives will be restored today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Maluya sikenda raba, riba sikende rebo. Ay 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 ay. Where goes on the glory, Lord? Riba sikenda raba. Hey. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey. Hey. Hey! There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood, the in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the oh in the blood. There is power mighty. Oh, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the oh, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. Lord, there is power in your blood. blood. King of glory. Father, let the Holy Ghost there come down. Let the power of all of you display. Lord Jesus, have your way. King of glory, come down in your blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we thank you for today. Bless that be your holy name. Lord, let your glory come Lord, let your anointing come down. Holy Spirit, have your way. No, no, no. It's okay. 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 Jesus, Jesus, I will talk. Jesus, it's okay. Jesus, I will talk. Jesus, I will talk. Thank you, Jesus. I will talk. There's fire all over my body. Thank you, Jesus. I will talk. 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 It's okay. I will confess. I will confess. Oh, I will confess. Fire. Fire all over my body. I will confess. I will confess. Please speak. Please help me. I will confess. I'm be free from your sins. Speak. I will speak. I will speak. Don't kill me. I am a bad man. I am a bad man. I did it. I did it, Igwe. Help me, Igwe, please. Igwe, I did it. I did it. I'm the one who I'm the one who did it. Chifukafu. Our people say that when you thank a man for whatever good thing that man did for you, that he will end up doing even more next time. Mm. Now that is a very wise saying. And you talk like a wise woman. Thank you, Nai. But um, I don't seem to understand where all of that is coming from. Um, actually, Nai, we came to thank you for begging and convincing the Igwe to forgive us the other day we fought at the palace. Mm. As maid is in the palace, we may not have anything to offer to you for what you've done for us. But may the gods bless you for us. And may people never cease to speak for you whenever it is necessary. Say! Just the way you talk quietly, and you were the one fighting. <laughs> anyway, um, we will thank the gods for making the Igwe listen to me. And for allowing the Igwe to forgive you. Because what you guys did was very, very, very bad. And I pray it will not happen again. Okay? Yes, we are very grateful, Nani. We promise it won't repeat itself again. Nani, in fact, we will forever remain indebted to you. Are you serious? <laughs> Just maintain the peace and be good girls, okay? Thank you, Nani. Thank you, Nani. Thank you so much. Okay. Hmm. 
evening. They actually told you all of that, eh? Yes, they did. Mm. And because of that, now you want to deviate from our original plan. No, Chief. It's not as if I'm deviating. Mm. I'm just confused here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Yes, Chief, I'm scared. Look at me here, trying to eradicate poverty from your family. And you are sitting here telling me you don't know what to do. Hmm? Look, let me shock you. Do you know that this same thing you are running away from, Ngozi and Chinyere have agreed to do it for me? Oh, oh, now you are surprised. <laughs> and if they do it, and I become the next Igwe, I will make sure you suffer. Okay? So you go ahead and be brave, be bold. Go ahead and do it. That way? Mm. Do it. Oh, Jesus. You don't want to be my lolo. I do. Uh -huh. mm. Go ahead and do what you're supposed to do to get to that position. Beautiful maids of the palace. Hmm. How are you? We are very fine, fine sir. And uh, how is the Igwe? The Igwe is fine. We are coming for a message. We went to send someone a message. Hmm. Very good. Um, Olaji, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, come. Okay, sir. Have you forgotten that I was the one who convinced the Lord to? Make you the chief cook of the palace. I will not forget that, sir. So why is it difficult for you to do what I asked you to do? Sir, what you're asking of me is too much. Olachi, you know that without me you would have been banished from this kingdom. Yes, I do. And I'm very sorry, sir. This is not a sorry issue. Just do what I asked you to do. Don't you want to marry a rich man? You don't, don't want to live it. happily? I do. You want to be a cook forever? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Lola, when is she coming back from her trip? Oh, this evening, sir. This weekend, sir. This evening or this weekend? This weekend, sir. This weekend? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really didn't know how to do this. You're sweet. Very yeah, sweet. I'm sure. I'm sweet. Mm -hmm. I think you're even more stronger. Yes, considering your age. <laughs> I think you know how to handle a woman in bed. Are you sure? No, no I can't just be in the room. Any woman who comes to the bed will come crawling back in two. See, see. Don't forget to add that thing when you are cooking on. Not when the food is ready. When you are cooking, you add it to their food. He eats with his love. And I don't know how to achieve that.
So you plotted to, to kill me and my wife. I also killed my brother. No, no, Jesus. I killed my brother. I killed my brother because yeah. of the land. Yeah. Government discovered yeah. oil on the land. Hey. What are you talking about? Igwe, Igwe, my oh. brother's land. I killed him because of the land. He was the devil. He was the devil. It was the devil. Oh, I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, I killed my brother. Oh, yeah. What is happening here? Okay, why are you crying? Uh, why are you crying? Why is he crying? He lost his wife and the baby. Uh, what? How? He didn't complete the money for his wife's cesarean, so he lost her and the baby. Oh no, no, no! But I just brought the balance. Why didn't the doctor start with the money he came with? Huh? I just brought the balance. Hi! This is unfair. This is unfair. Uh, uh. Hello. Uh. Hey, you? Please come. Uh, please come and take this girl on and get some more water at home. The one here has finished. Okay, uh -huh. And uh, please. Also, tell your mom to give the pan wine tapa the 400 naira that is on the television. It is meant for the wine I bought for my brother, Okafu. Okay, okay. 400 naira? Yes. It's on the television set. I'll be right back. Okay. You sent Juliet to get something from the house. Okay, I will join you soon because something came up. Mm -hmm. Ah, brother. <laughs> oh, careful. Ah. <laughs> this one you came to the farm today. Uh -huh. I hope all is well. Brother, all is well. Though. But you know, those goats I bought for my project supervisors, the ones they will slaughter for them when they come for inspection. Okay. I'm told that they have to eat grass so they don't die. <laughs> so I have come myself to get grass. Okay. <laughs> so I have come to cut grasses that they can eat. Here. I see. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I am seeing a rope instead of a cutlass. <laughs> yeah, but uh, are we going to cut grasses with two cutlasses? But I knew you were here and you had your cutlass. Okay. okay <laughs> and this rope okay. is to tie the grass when we cut it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, those grasses that are good for goats, yes. they, where are they around here or in there? Uh, no, we can actually find them. There's, uh, oh. there's a nice <laughs> Okay, brother, please help me. This rope is to tie the grasses. Uh, <laughs> okay. I was actually watching for Okay. okay. Uh, hey, Julia, uh, you sent her home to yeah. get some uh, water. water. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. By the time we finish cutting the grass, she would have been back. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay.
Igwe, 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 help me, there's fire all over my body. Help me, Igwe. I killed my brother. Hey, how? Chibu, Chibu, this is not happening. Dad, father, you killed your blood brother over a piece of land. Over a piece of land that rightfully belongs to him. Oh my god! Dad, I'm so ashamed to call you my father. I can't even call you my father anymore. This is evil. This is evil. Why? 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 Hey, come. You are evil. In fact, Okafo, you don't deserve to live. Exactly. You deserve to die. My people. I don't have for this. Uh, for this, I will talk. I'm a bad man. I'm evil. And I will confess my evil. Uh, please, just forgive me, my people. I am evil. I am wicked. I am bad. I will confess my evil. Oh. Uh, even the youth leader who came to my house, the day Juliet came to my house, I was the one who invited him. Uh -huh. um, youth leader, how are you? You know who is speaking, right? Oh yes, Chief Okafo. Oh, so how are you again? Uh -huh. Um, you know that bro uh, my brother's wife and daughter who were banished? The daughter is back in my house. She sneaked back into my house. So I want you and your boys to come in as early as possible and take her away. Why are you asking such a... Hold on. What question are you? Why are you asking me for such a question? Are you telling me you don't know the consequences of such an action? Do you want the entire community to be wiped off? You don't know? Oh, good. So you will come in the morning as early as possible with your boys and take her away. Don't go telling everyone that I called you. So I'm just trying to protect you and to protect me and the entire community. Okay, so you will come early in the morning and take her away. No problem. That's why we made you the community leader, the youth leader, okay? <laughs> we will continue to support you. I am evil. Why, Father? Uh, please, everybody, forgive me. Why? It was the devil, oh. oh. It was the devil, oh. Mm. Hey. You, you. No, 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 no. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone, leave me. Leave me alone. Don't kill me. Leave me alone, leave me alone. 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 This man is evil. He doesn't deserve to be alive. This man is evil. He doesn't deserve to live. Oh, look at him! Don't have to take laws into your hands. Moreover, is still your father. He's never been my father. He's not my father, and he will never be my father. Any man that is as heartless as he is can never be my father. I'm happy. 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 I'm happ
Uh, I, I also made Alice lose her sight. <laughs> Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive Cry or mourn him. He is a disgrace and a cost to our community. I have spoken. next tomorrow for your all Mary coronation and reconciliation feast. Ah, but I said I don't want to be part of any ritual, sacrifice or initiation whatsoever. But pastor, must she be part of it? I understand how both of you feel about this whole thing. But I can assure you it has nothing to do with rituals or idol worship. Ola Mary? Yes, actually I will be the officiating minister that day. Pastor, are you serious? Yes. Oh my god, that's nice. Check it. They have all embraced Christ. And everything is under control. I talked to God in prayers about it. And he is in total control now. Hi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. Pastor, I'm so happy. This trouble are over. God, just look at Mama. She can see again. Uh, I now see better than before. <laughs> X-ray eyes, pee pee pee. <laughs> so I think we have to go to church for Thanksgiving because mm -hmm. everything is just brown new again. <laughs> okay, let us pray. Uh, okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mama, I'm a bit. My dad's lawyer came around. He came to take stock of his property. I told him to just let everything be at this moment because, you know, I'm still in shock. I don't want to get involved in that thing. Chief Benson, how did you find us? You, you, how did you chase our house? Well, my only son wants to commit suicide because I have not allowed him marry your daughter. He's at home trying to commit suicide. Anyway, what I have come to do is to see the seat. Your hand and your cooperation to my son to marry your daughter. So, what do you want us to do? Well, I'm giving my approval now, and I'm ready to sponsor the marriage even today. I've come to take her with me. Well, the decision is yours to make. You come and save my son's life. You have to go and save Johnson, okay? Have to save Johnson, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, yeah. Chief Benson of all people. Kneeling down and begging you people to help him. Not us. He was only begging Juliet, okay? 
Oh my God, God, he was shivering. He was almost crying. Can you imagine she <laughs> bent it? What? But <laughs> you know, if I told you girls, I'm not the happiest person on this earth. I'll be lying to you girls. Mm -hmm. Like, I wish I was there. I wish, I wish I was there to see everything myself. <laughs> Don't forget. So, um, the wedding should be in two weeks? Yes, 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 uh, um, two weeks, you know? Hmm. Chief Benson wanted it this weekend. Yes, but you know, Johnson and my sister said no. So it's two weeks then. Me too. Don't tell you, my girl. Me too. My day. Huh? This is a. Huh? 12 now. I shall be snapped. I think now, I'll be the four, my sister. Not the Oh, my name. Don't try, they hear me. Hey! Nah, nah, see, you want to Oh, my God. I'm going for shopping Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, no. I need to get something classy. You know, I need to look good. Yeah. 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 Me too. <laughs> Me too. You know. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm just so happy for my sister. After, after all this pain, tears, my sister will be happy again. You know, it's just, it's just like a movie. You don't understand. You don't understand. I'm so happy. Good. <laughs> You can really say that again. So listen, listen, this movie can only be acted in Hollywood. Yeah. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh, huh, yeah. You've been searching for true love Seeking for someone to love you You've been searching for true love ah, It's hard to love You've been searching for true love For someone who would understand when life takes us to the edge uh, Someone to hold on to But the truth is said When you see love When you see love You fit to recognize her And I'm not When you see love When you see love You fit to recognize her Cause true love is everywhere But true love is sad to find Just like the air we wait True love is sad to Yeah. 
fight Cause just like the air we breathe True love is sacrifice